That is genius. This song is so, so well written. I, I... Hey guys, Andrew Berg here. I'm a jazz musician and teacher. Welcome to this episode of Down the BTS Rabbit Hole. In this video, I'm reacting to a live performance and a lyric video of a solo song by Jimin entitled Lie. I can't lie! If you're new to my channel, you can check out a link down in the description where you can see some of the other videos I've already reacted to. And of course, always give me comments down on the bottom so you can tell me what songs you want me to react to next. Before we get started, if you'd like to join me in this journey down the BTS rabbit hole, just please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can feed the YouTube algorithm. All right, let's get started. Okay, already, um, before the song even starts, really cool orchestral part in the very beginning there. Um, also, this song is in 3-4. And the reason I'm saying it, the reason it's, it's interesting to me, um, Singularity was also in 3-4. Um, and it's typically used for, like, a waltz. Uh, so if, you, if, if you know what a waltz is at all, uh, so we're going to count, like, 1-2-3-1-2-3 as you're dancing. Um, that's a waltz, and that's typically where you'll see that in. At least that's where most people would recognize it from. Um, most music that we listen to on a regular basis, like 99% of kind of more popular music, is going to be in what they call 4-4, four, four, since there's four beats for measure. Um, so already it's kind of cool that it's a little bit different that way. Um, I'm going to rewind it a little bit so we can get right before we get into this, into this part right here, but um, that's pretty cool so far. Don't be like a prey, smooth like a like a snake. So now you ship in there. Oh, that was cool that um it showed it as a woo woo on here. Um that was really cool though. That was a really um that was unexpected. Um he went up at the end of that second note, the second woo, if you will. Um That was a really cool th it, it was Again, unexpected a little bit. Um, it reminded me almost of like a, um, <laughs> that's gonna sound kind of stupid. Um, almost like, like Halloween music, I feel like has that kind of a sound effect. I don't know, it, it, I, I got that kind of vibe though. Um, also, I want to make sure everyone knows, I do have the lyrics up here on this lyric video. I also have the dual set lyrics um, as well that I'm following through with. Um, so anyway, so I, I do have both those up so I can kind of see all the lyrics and everything. Um, and you know, make sure I'm getting the right interpretation of the music and everything. Okay, cool. Um, this must be why everyone recommended the song to me, right there. Um, that is genius. Okay, so in case you didn't know what was happening right there, you didn't follow it, maybe you, I bet almost everyone heard it, whether they know it's actually happening or not, but uh, genius. Genius right there. Okay, so um, the entire pre-chorus, it changes its vibe entirely. It changes, it changes everything. Um, and when I hear it again, I'm sure it's going to come up again at some point later on. Um, I'll try to listen to it a little more carefully and figure out what's going on with that. But what I want to talk about right now is the line, caught in a lie, how we're switching from minor to major. That is amazing because it's saying caught in a lie. When we hit the word lie, we are in a different chord quality, which is awesome. It is so genius. I mean, caught in a lie and have that lie be that we're switching to major. It's Let's go back and listen to that again really quick with the build-up and everything. Get a little go ahead, man, in the 
Okay, I I don't know how I could honestly talk about what's happening here for like days, hours. I, I I don't. It's so so much. I could talk about this for so much, like so long. Having it be in this um this in this three four um time feel with it um that's like where you hear like like do da da do da da do da da that kind of thing. You you can't get that if you're if you're in. Four four, which again is like more like a typical time signature. Um, you can only get that with with this kind of a sound. So so far, most of the song is in is is minor. Um, and then there's the pre-chorus that was kind of building up, which is what sets it up. So when he says "caught in a lie," that's it, it's kind of why that moment feels so um, like empowering or just so like just so amazing. Honestly, um, okay. But everything else in there, the feel that he has is incredible the, the 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 timing of how he's singing this it's really a testament to how good the song is written but also how good he is as an artist Okay, I think, I think I figured it out. So, um, the build-up in the pre-chorus, um, I'm gonna start playing that background as I'm talking through this section. So the, the build-up in the pre-chorus is, I think, actually almost more amazing than the Cotton a Lie line where we switch from minor to major, and it's because of how it sets it up. As he's singing, he has kind of a repetitive line, and I think he's singing the exact same notes. Um... So I, I don't know all the lyrics and everything like that. I'm kind of following along musically right now. Um, there's a line like do da do da do da da do da da do da. Right, and then it says caught the light. Okay, um, I can't sing. Sorry, that's what you're gonna get from me. Um, okay, so during that section, it's amazing because the chords are changing underneath, but his notes are staying the same, and the chords that are changing um, are slowly building up like one step at a time, the best way I can kind of describe it, um, building up one step at a time, which creates a lot of tension. Um, typically chords don't move just in like a, um, a, a linear fashion, they don't just move in, in, one, in one direction, they're always kind of bouncing around a little bit. Um, so having these moving in that kind of like stepping stone kind of line through this, you have so much tension built up in the music that when he hits the, the, the line that he has of caught in a lie, there's so much tension in that moment that when he hits it and then switches over to major, it's releasing all the tension. Every single bit of tension that he built in that section is just gone, um, which is amazing. Because that, that, that's when you feel like kind of fulfillment through music is when you have the tension and then the release of that tension. And I, it's so well written. I, I can't get over how well written it is. I, I just, I can't. Um, Okay, so I want to go back and we're going to listen to that part one more time again. Um, and during that section, I want you to listen for that kind of build that he does through this. Um, and I'll try to kind of motion along with it so you can see what I'm talking about. But just listen for that, that the, the, the chords stepping up, sort of. And when you hear that line, caught in a lie, that's when we've kind of, you know, made it. Um, that's, that's when we've, we've hit that, that resolution to that, that portion of the music right there. All right, let's go and rewind it back a little bit.
song is so, so well written. I, I, okay, that entire bridge, I, I, I can't even, I can't even break it down. I, 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 there's so much to go into, and I, I still have to talk about, I still have to do a live performance. I don't want this video to be an hour long or something. Um, okay. So the, the bridge, I, I, I think, I'm not positive, I'm pretty sure it just, it just, it changes keys, kind of, it drops into the bridge, and it changes... It changes the keys, or it, it changes the key, or, or something about it has some kind of kind of basic shift to it. Um, but within that is where it gets really interesting, because each line that he sings, we're switching to a different chord, which is not completely unexpected. That's not you know unheard of in music, um, but it's kind of going between this um, kind of resolution back to tension, back to resolution, back to tension. Um, which again is is it having that kind of back and forth all the time? It, it's almost creating more tension um, in the music itself, which again makes it when we get into this next section again, we're we're doing it sounds like it's going to be like a drop chorus of "Caught in a Lie" again, getting back into the chorus. But so leading into this next drop chorus now, it's taking that tension and we're resolving it, but we're not going into a big place like we did previously. Now we're dropping back down again. Uh, as we drop down into the bridge, now we're dropping down into this drop chorus where we have this resolution, but it still feels, it, it, it's um, putting it in this, in this drop chorus makes it feel smaller, kind of. Makes me think, and I'm pretty sure I'm right just based on how music is usually done. It's either going to just kind of peter off from here, do the last drop chorus, then kind of fade off, or it's going to have a drop chorus and then another chorus at the end which is going to be just as big as the ones before. Um, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. It's usually just one of those two options. Um, again, I'm always happy to be wrong with with those predictions, um, but that's where my head's at right now. So we'll see what happens. Um, this is an amazingly written song. It is it is just incredible how well written it is. Um, I didn't talk about any of the lyrics, and I'm sorry about that. I didn't even get a chance to because the music was so good, I just was drawn to that. And even the music, I feel like I didn't even cover everything. I feel like just, just that chorus alone I could talk about for a while. And I wasn't really exaggerating when I said, like, hours. I mean, maybe I was exaggerating a little bit. But I, it's, it's not too much. I, I could really talk about that forever. Um, before I get into the live performance, um, would you guys want me to do a, a deeper, like, breakdown of the actual music, um, on this song? Um, would you want me to, like, really go in, into depth and make it, like, a 30-minute plus video just talking about how the song was constructed and just kind of my opinions on, on how the chords are used, how the melody is used? Um, is that something that would be interesting to you guys, or is that too much music? <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you guys with the music. I know I already talked a lot more about music and the breakdown and stuff in this video than I have in previous ones. Um, but that's interesting to you guys. Just let me know down in the comments. I'd um, like to get your feedback on that. Um, also, as far as lyrics go, I've teased before that my wife is a writer, um, an, an author. Uh, if something that you guys like to see, maybe her react to me, um, her react with me to this um, and kind of do a more lyric breakdown as well. Um, I know I'm talking about doing now like possibly three total videos on this song. Um, but it's, I, 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 I can't get over how well written it is, and I am cool with doing three videos in this one if you guys really watch it. I'll, I'll spread it out, I'm not going to do all three in a row or anything. Um, but that would, that, that could be fun. Um, let me, again, let me know down in the comments. Um, now we're going to watch a live performance, um, which I believe is from the Wings Tour. I think this is um, from a performance in Seoul. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. Okay, um, first of all, his dancing is incredible. I don't think I've ever seen, I don't think I've seen any of the videos so far where they've, like, been really, really dancing. I know, um, 
in my butter reaction um, in that music video. They're dancing. Um, I guess they did a little bit of dancing and different. I don't know, permission to dance. Maybe they did a little bit. Of da I mean, obviously they did dancing in that one. Um, but that was more like like group dancing. It was different than what this is. <laughs> So right now I'm kind of curious, um, is he singing live while he's doing this? Um, I'm not, not saying that I don't think he is. That's not at all what I'm trying to say. I'm just impressed if he's able to actually sing while he's doing those dance moves because that's some pretty intense choreography, but you don't hear any of it in his voice. I feel like I should have paid more attention to the lyrics before. Um, and again, I, I couldn't because the music is so good. But um, I have a feeling that the dancing in this is telling a story that might be part of the lyrics as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's, 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 <laughs> let's keep on watching and see what happens. <laughs> So, when you guys are at a concert with it, with with BTS, right, and he performs this song, I, I honestly just imagine the entire arena erupting when he sings "Caught in a Lie." I, I I have to imagine that everyone's singing along with him because it's such a big moment in the song, and it comes up, you know, a few different times. That that to me has to be like the biggest like audience participation moment you can have because it's just it's so it's so well constructed. To, to work with that audience kind of thing. Okay, I didn't talk about this before. There's that sound effect leading into um, this next verse right here. It's really cool. It brings a lot of like, again, that tension leading up into the next section. Um, this song is all about tension and release, um, which is awesome. That's that's kind of the best music to have, honestly, I think. Also, right before I pause the video, it looks like he's putting on a blindfold. And that confuses me. I'm intrigued. But I'm very confused. <laughs> um, Alright, let's let's see what let's see how this goes. <laughs> That was really cool. Okay, so the lights have been like it's kind of reddish here the entire time. Right when he gets caught in a lie, right when you have that lyric, right when you have the shift from minor to major, you have all the lights turn white. It's so it's it's that's so cool. Even with now the performance of it, you have the lights and everything change at that same moment. It's really like the overall effect, the overall aesthetic that it has is just amazing.
good. Um, I didn't realize it. I don't know if I think in the in the uh, the recording of the song, the one we just listened to before this, I think they added in more of the orchestral strings and stuff back in during that bridge that we just listened to right now. But in this, there's an electric guitar. Now I might have missed electric guitar in the other one. That's very very possible. But that was cool with electric guitar. Um, it was kind of going in like a counter motion to what he was singing, which again just works so well with the everything with the song. I mean, how the lyrics and how the music and everything are so connected. Um, connected even when they're unexpected, it's still very connected. And that is awesome. <laughs> talk about before too is the abrupt ending um kind of going back into that um think of strings in the very end right there um the the ending is cut shorter than i thought it would be which is kind of cool because it, it just kind of leaves you like like it just leaves you hanging you know it just leaves you like with like breath like just um breathless i guess is the right word i don't know it just leaves you kind of just like huh, you know <laughs> um best way i can describe it is, is that um Man, okay, this is, this was, I, I feel like every video I'm saying this is my favorite song, and I, I don't mean to, to be that person. I, I really, I, I want everyone to know, I'm actually pretty critical of music. I, I really, when I listen to most, like, pop songs and stuff, I, I'm, I'm usually pretty critical, and I usually point out things that I don't like, and I have no problem with that, because, you know, that's, it's, it's my opinion, it's how I feel, it's how I feel when I'm listening to it. And and I, I know I've been so positive with, with BTS's music, and it's because it's all so good. It, it it really every single song so far has been really really good, and every song kind of replaces itself as being my favorite of their music. If that makes sense, like it's like every week I have a new favorite. Um, this is good. This is um, this is definitely going on my playlist. <laughs> Also, would you guys be interested in me making like a Spotify playlist of the songs that I've gone through? Um, I could just name it like down the BTS rabbit hole. Um, I'm pretty sure on Spotify you can share playlists with other people and everything. Um, I could put it down in the description kind of going forward if you'd like me to do that. Um, just kind of go through all the songs that I've, that I've already um, reacted to as well because I currently already have a playlist set up for myself because I like to listen to BTS music on my downtime now. And, um, you know... I only want to go through songs I've already listened to, so I'm just putting every song that I listen to, I'll just put in that playlist now. Um, and anyway, if you also want me to share that with you guys as well, I can do that. Yeah, the song is... It's good. <laughs> it's really, really good. It's well-written, well-performed. It's just overall A+. Thanks for watching. My name's Andrew Berg, and if you like this video, and you want to join me on this journey on the BTS Rabbit Hole, just please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you can find the next time I post. Until next time.